Greetings and welcome to another tutorial video for the Symphony Needs A4 HUD version 2.0. In this video I'm going to go through the process of manually installing animations into the AO and the Dance HUD and then I'm going to go over how to set up your configuration node cards for both the Zao 2 AO and the Dance HUD. Now the first thing that you need to be able to do is res your HUD on the ground someplace and you're going to need to be able to run scripts at the end of it so you need permissions for both res and script execution. Um, if you're on a group owned parcel you, with restrictions you may need to make sure that you're wearing the proper group tag. <coughs> the other thing you're going to want to do is make sure that the HUD is done booting up. If it's the first time that you res it you'll see it go through the process of loading the texture groups, the classes, the attachments and then it'll say ready and in addition to that the chim will boot up the first time and read in, read in the default configuration note card. You want to go ahead and let it finish all that stuff before you start trying to move inventory into it. Now you're going to go to a folder where you have your animation stored in your inventory. You can see I've got two convenient folders that I set up here for this tutorial. And you're going to need to copy those into your HUD. Now the animations for the AO they just go right into the root prim. So you could just copy them drag them in there and you're good to go. You'll see them down at the bottom after everything has a chance to refresh and if your luck is anything like mine with SL lately it may take a few minutes for that to happen. Now you'll also notice that there are two other animations that are in here. There's a pose stand one and a trace. Both of them start with SN. Those are simple needs poses that are incorporated into functionalities in the HUD so you don't need to put those into a note card just leave them be in there unless for some odd reason you decide you want to use them for some other animation token in your AO. Now the next thing we're going to need to do is set up a note card. That will um, be loaded into your AO and it'll tell the animation override which animations do you want to play when you would normally play certain stock animations. Now if you take a look at a default note card there's a lot of information in here in addition to the AO tokens. Okay, now I've already copied this default note card back into my inventory. And you can just drag a copy of that into your inventory if you want. And I've renamed it, and in this case I've just renamed it Galather. Now as I open it up, the first thing you can notice is I got rid of all the extraneous information. In the default note card, you had all of them instructions at the top. And then down at the bottom, you've got some other stuff as well. Um, that's good information to have and that's actually part of the reason that I tend to leave the default note card alone so that I can always refer back to that if I need to. Um, but once you're familiar with it or while you're setting up your new note card you don't need it to have to read in all those extra lines every time you load your AO. Things will go a lot faster if you just go ahead and delete those lines. Now you can see I've already started to fill in some of the animations here. Um, we have three standing animations, a sit on ground, a crouching animation, a hovering, a jumping animation, and the rest of these are all blank because they're going to just go ahead and play the default animations. Now we need to go ahead and put the walk animation in and you need to make sure that everything is spelled and capitalized exactly the same way that the animation is named in your object um, otherwise the script won't be able to find it since it uses names. The easiest way to do that is to just right click the animation and go to properties and then you can literally just select the name and copy it, control C, and then we're going to come to walking and we're going to paste that in. And now we know we have everything spelled and capitalized exactly right. Now I also have one more stand animation that I'm going to copy in here, which is STTM14. I'm going to go to properties and I'm going to copy that. And if you do have an animation that's not no mod, some of them are no mod, so that you are, are no mod, so you can't do anything with them. Others are mod, so that you can rename them if you want to. This is an Akio animation, which happens to be mod. Make sure that you just copy it and then close that window. Don't actually accidentally change the name. Otherwise, even after you paste it into your note card, your HUD still won't be able to find it. Now, when you're using multiple animations for a particular token. Like in this case, we've got three stands. I'm going to add a fourth that you can choose from um, that the HUD can cycle through. You separate those with what they call the pipe. And basically, if you look right over your enter key on most keyboards, you're going to see the backslash key. If you hold down shift and hit the backslash key, you're going to get a pipe. So put a pipe in, and then paste the name of your last dance, uh, last walk, stand, animation, whichever it is, and then save your note card. Oh, SL is a true joy. Even saving a note card is going to take time now. 
once uh, you have everything into your note card, you're just going to drag a copy of that note card into your HUD. CSL is definitely trying to torment me tonight. Let's make sure that it got the last information. Yep, everything's in there. So then we just drag that information, the new note card, into your HUD. And you can immediately check and see if it works. If you click on the disk for the AO, this is the load button. You can just click that and choose your new note card and you'll see you get feedback from the Zao 2 as it goes through and reads your note card and loads the animations. If for some reason an animation isn't in there or you name a, a, a name an animation um, incorrectly it'll tell you in this message it'll say could not find this animation and it'll just leave it out um, but that'll help you find out which one you need to go back into the note card and correct. In this case it read all nine animations and it's all done. Now we're going to go through a similar process for the dance HUD. And we're just going to right click and edit the HUD, check the edit linked parts box, and then select just the contents of the uh, sphere for the chim. You can see right now the only thing that's in there is the scripts and the default config card. So we're going to go back over into our inventory and we're going to grab the dances that we want to put into our chim. And again, we're just going to drag this straight into the Contents tab on your Edit window. And we're going to hope SL cooperates a little bit better and moves all this stuff over quickly. Looks like we're waiting on just one or two more dances. Sometimes if you click off of an object and back onto it, you can force a refresh. And sometimes you can't. All right. Well looks like they're all there now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the config card here just double click it to open it and like the Zoutu card you're gonna see quite a bit of information also like the Zoutu no card if you wanna save yourself some load time you can select any of the lines that start with the double slashes and delete them all that stuff that's in there is just information so that you know how to configure the note card. You can even del del delete the empty lines. It's not going to hurt anything. For that matter, if there are groups that you're not going to use, let's say you're going to put all your dances into two groups, you can even go ahead and delete the extra groups. It won't hurt anything. And You can always pull out a fresh copy of your HUD to grab a default config card if you need it. Now we're going to do something very similar to what we did with the other animations. We're going to go to Properties, we're going to copy a name, and then we're just going to paste it into a group. You can just go right over the dance name, and then just hit Enter and go to a new line and get your next dance. Copy it, paste it, get a new line. And now we've got four dances that we put in that group. And if you want to give that group a name, you can always call it whatever you want. We'll just call it, uh, you know, test group one for kicks. And then we're going to go down to group two and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to post some new dances in it. Now, if you happen to leave that dance name token in there, that's not a problem. The script will ignore that as it loads in the other dances. So it won't hurt anything to read it, to leave it in there. Now, for illustrative purposes, I'm going to go ahead and leave the last two dances out of groups so that you can see how those are handled by the dance HUD once we load it up. So we're going to save our config card, close the note card edit window, and then close our edit window. And you can just click on the. Uh, if, well, no, that's not true, If because if you haven't worn it and booted it up yet, you won't be able to click on it to trigger anything. So let's go ahead and pick up your HUD. And then wear it. If 
we go to the dance tab you'll see it's probably going to be reading in that config card you'll notice how fast it was this time because we only had a few lines to read in and let me go ahead and enlarge this so that it's easier for you to see HUD options, HUD size 150 percent alright so back to the dance and now you can see that when you go to browse if we go to group A you'll see your test group one name is there. You also see we put four dances into that group so if you're browsing just that group as you page through it only looks at those four dances. Likewise if you go to group two which is group B we didn't rename it so it's still named group B you see there are one of two dances there and again it'll just browse those. Now if you go to all dances you'll see that it now lists all eight the four from group one, the two from group two and then the other two that we didn't put in groups of all at all you can only get to those by either being in the single dance mode which turns off the timer so it doesn't progress from one dance to the next or the all dance mode which keeps the timer on so that it will use your delays to progress from one dance to the next now you can now let me click dance again and close the browser so you can see what I'm about to do. You can now also configure individual times for each dance. Now since I've already worn the HUD I'm going to take the opportunity to show you a way to get to your dance HUD sphere while you're wearing the HUD. And If you go to HUD options and then to D HUD core, your dance HUD core, you can opt to show the core and basically all it does is just stretch that prim out so that you can see it above and below the HUD. And we're going to right click and edit, and do linked parts, and select just the sphere. You can see that you get the contents there. And we're going to go back into the config card. And we're going to go ahead and give some durations to some of these dances. Uh, by default, since it's set to length 60 here, all the dances pick up a, a length of 60 unless you specify a different dance duration. So we're going to go ahead and set a few of these to some other times and you basically you just put a colon in and then give it a time and then save it and close the note card close the edit window we can go ahead and hide the dance core again exit that and now you're going to want to reload your dance hut and to do that you can click the invite button on the dance panel and go back to the main menu and then click load and you'll see that again it reloads your note card real quick and then it's finished and now you'll be able to see a different length shows after each dance name for the ones that you configured we've got the Ben 3 groove from Akio is 20 seconds and the next one is 30 seconds and then we've got one that's 10 seconds and the other ones that you didn't specify times for are still going to be 60 seconds and that sums up how to install animations into your animation override and into your dance HUD and I hope that for those of you who were curious as to how you set up those complicated looking configuration cards that that shows you it isn't as difficult as it may first look if you have any questions or need any help setting up your note cards be, feel free to join either one of the Simple Needs group, either the regular Simple Needs group, which also is shared with the club, um, although there are a lot more people in that group, or the Simple Needs Updates group, which is strictly for the store. Uh, if I happen to not be at my keyboard at the time, we have a lot of helpful people that are willing to answer questions. Also, you can send me an IM or a note card, and I will get back to you as soon as I do see your message. Thank you very much for your time. Stay simple and have a great day.